Hello everyone, welcome to FedScoop TV. This is Greg Otto, your managing editor. We're out in San Francisco at the RSA conference, but we stopped by Lookout headquarters to talk with Bob Stevens, the vice president of federal systems for Lookout. Bob, thanks for taking some time. Normally we like to do these interviews. We like to have our guests come on our turf, but I appreciate the invite into your turf. Yeah, thanks for coming. Really happy to, uh, happy to have you here. So talk to me about what you're seeing when it comes to the federal government and how they're managing uh, all of the mobile devices that they see on their networks. Um, well, I think that it's sort of a mixed bag, uh, but for the most part, uh, it doesn't appear that mobile security is, is uh, as high a priority as it should be in the government. Uh, a lot of times they're, they're um, using mobile device managers, uh, which they believe is security, but it's really just a, a policy enforcer. Um, so I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done in regard to policy and maybe some mandates uh, to put an application on the device uh, to, uh, to help um, manage and give them visibility into um, what's really occurring in their mobile uh, environment. How do you think agen agencies should manage that given that a lot of agencies are moving towards a BYOD stance? They're letting their workforce bring in the phones that they use every day and a lot of the times they don't even know what's on those devices. So are, are they going to force their workforce to put an EMM on their phones, or how do you see that playing out? Well, I think that they'll have to. It's just like you know, in, in the corporate world today, you know, I, I have a device that, uh, that I use for work, and uh, um, I have an EMM on it. Uh, I also have Lookout on it okay. um, to give the company visibility to what's occurring so that I don't represent a threat um, to the environment or to the enterprise. So I think they're going to have to... Um, uh, tell their their uh, employees that if they want to use the device for work, then they're going to have to have um, some sort of protection on it. Outside of an actual workforce policy, what is the biggest challenge to doing something like that? Because you have phones that come from all different makers. There are just there's so much technology out there that that's got to be hard for a federal agency to wrap their hands around. I think it is. I think you're right. I think what uh, the, the government will end up doing is, is uh, more like a choose your own device. Okay. So they'll have a list of maybe four or five different devices um, that they'll allow into their infrastructure. If you choose to buy something else, then you're not going to be allowed um, to access the, uh, the enterprise or the, or the work uh, material or data that you need. Great. Well, Bob, thanks for taking some time out to talk to us today. Appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. For all of our videos, check out our YouTube channel. And for more coverage of the RSA conference and everything cybersecurity, check out cyberscoop.com. I'm Greg Otto. Thanks for watching.